Hip-Hops is 1987.com. here with the man of the hour, with Damari Carroll. Now, your Brooklyn Nets will be taking on the Atlanta Hawks later on tonight. Second game, you recently faced them over the weekend. It's always great to have you back in the city of Atlanta. Talk to me about the season so far and, and the young team that you're helping to groom. I think the season going going great. Um, we're doing a lot of good stuff. We just got to get more consistent. Uh, we got a young group. Um, I think there's a lot of new guys, so we just got to try to gel it all together and uh, get more consistent. Now I see you rocking the dope Adidas beanie. I know you're one for being a sneaker head. Talk to me a little bit and let me know what your, your, the, the three most comfortable shoes that you're wearing so far during the NBA season. Um, you know I'm a Adidas guy, so I like the UQTs, uh, the Ultra Boots, and of course the Yeezys. Those are my off the court shoes. So on the court, I just wear the boots. Those are the only shoes I wear. Now I know also, you know, you're, you're an alum of Mizzou. One of the top players in the nation when I went there this year, Michael Porter Jr. Now, he won't be playing this year, but have you had a chance to, to speak with him or see him in any practices before? And what are your thoughts on his game as he get ready to come into the NBA next year? Yeah, yeah. I, I spoke to him, and uh, I used to always go to his high school. I used to go to my basketball camp there. He's a great kid. You know, uh, unfortunate injury for him, but I still think he got a chance. Uh, very athletic. Uh, one of those guys who can do it all, kind of like a mini KD, so uh, hopefully he can get back right and uh, contribute in the NBA so Now you're averaging about 13.7 rebounds a night so far this season. Are there anything that you're seeing differently out there on, on the court this year? Do you feel like the, the guys around you have, have been better? I see earlier earlier in the month you had two games, 2020 back to back. What are you seeing this season? Is there anything different? Do you feel like you've grown as a player this year? Yeah, I think I'm just taking advantage of my opportunity. Uh, I feel like the player development here is very key. You know, it kind of reminds me of Atlanta. Uh, you know, Kenny was here in Atlanta, assistant coach for uh, four or five years. So I think I'm just doing the same thing I was doing in Atlanta, just getting back to the bases and playing stuff. Now, today is Jay-Z's birthday. We know about the connection with Jay-Z and your Brooklyn Nets. Can you give me your top five Jay-Z albums? Uh, I have to do a reasonable doubt. I think my favorite one is Reasonable Doubt. That's, I think that's the biggest, the best album to me. I know there's going to be a lot of people arguing with me with that, but <laughs> I think that's the best album. Uh, I can dig that. Yeah. Now, you're also well known for what you do as far as fatherhood. A lot of cats don't take pride in being parents and, and you know, their offspring. But you, good sir, in your off time, I see you spending a lot of time with your children. Talk to me about fatherhood and just, you know, being a black man. The stereo, you're beating the stereotypes of being a successful black man and being a father as well. Okay. Basketball, you know, I think that's that's on the back burner. Uh, being a father is my first job. You know, a lot of people may say playing the NBA is my first job. But being a father, being up for my kids, uh, you know, trying to support them. Everything I'm doing is for them. You know, it really don't matter to me if I can't support them. So uh, at the end of the day, as a black father, man. Hip Hops is 1987.com.